This video will show you the process on how to update your existing eGov converter of Metrobank. As you all know, si Banknet kasi ay may ginawang update on certain validation checks when uploading pagibig files. Dahil dyan sa bagong validation checks na in-update ng Banknet, nire-reject na po yung pagibig files natin. In order to align with this update, eGov converter of Metrobank has to be adjusted, enhanced, so that your file for pagibig payment when uploaded to Banknet system won't be rejected. Okay, first things first, you may create a backup copy of your existing eGov converter. Para naman sa ganun, hindi ma-overwrite yung mga templates that you have created before because those templates can still be used for this new eGov converter. In doing so, by using your file explorer, kindly access your existing Metrobank folder in your Drive C. Then, rename the eGov folder inside this Metrobank main folder into any name that you want. For this presentation, I rename ko to as ego underscore old. Okay. Tapos na po tayo sa pag-secure ng existing converter natin. Now, let's proceed to the installation of the new ego converter. Below this video, under my YouTube channel name, you can find the link for Metrobank eGov Converter. This is the same link that I mentioned in my email if you reach this e-learning video through my email. Kindly click this link and you will be forwarded to the Google Drive where you can download the new eGov Converter. Then, click this download button Then, once the downloading is complete, please proceed to your Downloads folder. And here, you can find the file in BTC eGov Installer. Click this file to proceed with the in installation proper. Please input this password as shown in your screen. Then, press the Enter key. There it goes. Your new Metrobank eGov converter is successfully installed. If you notice, the Metrobank main folder, mayroon na po ang new subfolder, which is itong eGov folder. Now, to complete the setup of your converter, Kindly op open this eGov folder. Then, go to Converter folder where you can find the file in BTC eGov converter.exe. Click this file and then click this setup button to complete your administrator setup. Please in encode your company name your company address, your company HDMF number or your pagibig number, company SS number, and the HDMF branch code. Then, click the save button. In dyan po nagtatapos yung video presentation ko. Eh, baka naman may magtatanong sa inyo, eh, trika muna sir, saan po namin kunin yung HDMF branch code. Ito po yung sagot ko. Makukuha po ninyo yung HDMF branch code and yung other information from the backup copy of your old eGov converter which we created a while ago. 
Iparan lang po ninyo yung old converter. Then, punta po kayo sa setup. Ayun. Very useful talaga yung old ink of converter natin. And that is why, nag-create po tayo ng backup copy. Or, may ipang option din kung saan kukunin ang yung HDMF branch code. Mag-login po kayo as corporate administrator sa Banknet website. Then, click the menu enrollment corporate maintenance in your agency access panel you can find the branch header column kung saan nakasulat yung HDMF branch code niyo ipagpaumanhin po ninyo my screen has no HDMF branch code kasi the screenshot that I'm using ay hindi pa na-activate yung pag-ibig agency nila sa totoong buhay, mayroon po yan talaga. Sana mayroon po kayong natutunan sa video ko at napadali na atin yung pag-update ng Metrobank Eagle Converter niyo. If nagustuhan ninyo yung video ko, please palike naman and please click the subscribe and bell button below para naman makakareceive po kayo ng notification for my next video. Thank you very much.